Have you heard about who Brother 12 is in the infamous cult of De Corsi Island? Well, last week, that's all we learned about. It was awesome. It's amazing learning the history of the Pacific Northwest. We also got to check out the wildlife and check out a whole colony of sea lions. The kids had a blast. Hey everyone, we're the Carmina family from Victoria, BC, Canada. Last year, we decided it would be a great idea to move on to a boat, but not just any boat. We found a 1969 Stevens Brothers aluminum boat that needed a lot, and I mean a lot of love. Of course, we decided it'd be fun to make all the repairs and do the refit ourselves. After 19 years of marriage, this may be the end of us. Join us on our adventures cruise in the Pacific Northwest and getting Tango Rotor ready for a massive trip around the world. So the dog is a bit excited about going for a ah. W-A-L-K and Josh is trying to hold her. If not, she's very loud. She's barking and yelling and talking oh. at us. We're coming, Maggie. She's, gonna bark. She's like, but, 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 I will go now. Good morning. Good morning. This is our 7.30 a.m. morning walk. Walking the dog. She gets up early. With Maggie. It's gorgeous, but it's it raining, is. but it's so pretty. Just a little drizzle, nothing big. And we're West Coast drizzle. That's it. I really need to brush my teeth. Me too. So we're not looking at each other. No kisses. <laughs> Just more tea. I would like to know what digs up. Here, something's digging this up here to look for bugs and worms. Maybe raccoons? So nice when towns like this have little community notice boards. People put up their business cards, there's yoga, there's a place for sale under Corsi Island. Oh, and it's a book library, Blaine. That's awesome. I love little islands in the Pacific Northwest like that. So um, <clears throat> here in British Columbia, there's always the chance uh, when you're walking that you'll um, you'll you'll possibly run into a, a big cat um, and we're out walking here today and and uh, yeah so you know, what you do is you have to make yourself look big yeah you want to make sure that it thinks you're another apex predator <laughs> yeah shout ah, ah. Shit. yeah that's right Back. I think we scared it. Back. Back. Okay. The dog doesn't give a damn. I think we're good. So anybody coming to De Corsi Island? Not in March because March time it's winter time. I highly recommend coming down the road a little bit from the marina. Again, past the cat. The marina's right there. Go south down the road a little bit. And you come across the Pirates Cove Trading Company. A couple here, I'll talk a little bit more about them. Do amazing baking. It's all natural. And you can get cinnamon buns and sourdough bread and everything here. Look at it. It's just not open right now. We did try to contact them on email, email but it's March. So that's sourdough bread. Everything's healthy, good for you. Kombucha. Right there. So this is De Corsi Island. Again, we're up in the Maritime Park here in Pirates Cove, which we are right up in there. And again, there's all the private stuff here. This is all private. There's a swamp, the farm, Long Island.
After the morning walk with Maggie, Izzy and I headed on shore to hide all the painted rocks that we created on our way over to Decorsey Island in Pirate's Cove. I watch you as you drive Do you know I'm looking And I can't help but smile Do you know how much I love you You put my favorite song on I put my feet up we just sing along and I can't help but feeling just loving this moment can we stay here forever I'm loving this moment can we stay here together if I could stop the time don't you know that I would cause I'm Right here? How do you think? Looks good. Perfect. Oops. Perfect. There we go. Back to the boat. What was that? The engine. The engine started. Boom, boom, boom. Josh is the stern line master now, so it's his job to go on shore and loosen it off. Good, he's just out there. He's got it. Or we should have pliers in the boat. While Josh was on the shore doing the stern line, it's Izzy's job to press in the button that lifts the anchor. This is what we do. Izzy steps on the button, Blaine watches the anchor, and I'm driving right now. And once the anchor was up, it was time to head home to Bruntwood Bay. with it. We always stay out of the way of ferries. So we just peeled off to 
starboard. The only problem is peeling off to starboard. We've got the waves coming in on our uh, port quarter, which is never good. So we're just slowing down a little bit. We did a, what do you call it, Lane? A decisive maneuver so the ferry knew what we were doing. And he knew we were letting him go past. And then I needed <laughs> Josh to go get Lane because no, though, however, the whole wind show everything is a pain in the bus. Their alternators are not charging, they just ran their batteries low, so we're going to follow them in. Hey, wait till wait for dude. A weekend of play there's always tasks to do on the boat i'm done i don't know how many times i tell blaine to measure twice cut once measure twice drill once well i was trying to fix here let me switch you around so you can see what i was doing my filing cabinet because every boat needs a filing cabinet the only problem is the drawers kept coming out so i wanted to put in we got blaine got some of these and i I don't know, eye bolts, and I just ground off the screw thing, which I thought was quite smart. And I was gonna drill. Well, now look, I've got one, two, I gotta show you this. That's a bad hole, that's a bad hole. And when that bad hole went through, it went through the front, the front. Like seriously, however, these work like a hot dam. And when I take it out, it was like, woohoo, woohoo, every time the ferry came past. So these work great but I just drilled the wrong holes. So now I have to fill, fill, fill. Dumb. Measure twice or three times, drill once, and you wouldn't have this schmozzle, pickle, mess, whatever I did. Blaine is down here working on the water pumps. I think that's what he's doing. Yes. I don't know what's going on and why we have no water. And just, just so everybody knows, the red hose does not mean hot. The red hose means that the chandelier did not have any in blue or clear. <laughs> so blue is not cold, red is not blue hot? Blue is not cold, red is not hot. So this is uh, basically what I've done is I've paralleled the two fresh water pumps. You're lucky you don't have a bald spot. Uh, right? Why don't you look up and tell us what you did? So what I've done is I've, I've paralleled the, the water pumps. So before we had... One of the fresh water pumps was plumbed to the uh, main fresh water system, and the second fresh water pump was plumbed to the toilets only. So where's the two water um, pumps right now? Right here. Okay. So, and not only that, they weren't actually attached to anything. They were just chilling loose in the bilge. <laughs> and we know so, the bad news we have with our bilges. Yeah. Nothing should chill in our bilge. No. So what I've done is I've got, uh, I made up a bracket for them here. Oh, let's see the pretty bracket. They're both mounted to the bracket on isolation feet. Good fabrication. So it should, uh, it should be quieter. And then I've got, um, I've got them paralleled up together. So that Wait, means they What's isolation both, feet? Uh, they're little rubber feet that basically absorb the, the movement of the pumps. Okay. So we won't have that bop noise that we had before with it sitting against the hull. Bop. Yeah. 
So with them parallel, they'll they'll pump twice as much volume, so the pump will run less, and uh, we'll be able to keep up with demand better as well. Um, the toilets don't need a dedicated pump; they've got an anti-siphon valve, so they're 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 isolated from the fresh water system, so you don't have to worry about worry about any backflow from the toilets or anything. Blech. So it's just a uh, it's just a better system altogether. That'd be gross so backflow just, from the uh, toilets into the water system. Yeah, they're just working on getting that plumbed in right now, or that's working again. And then I've got to do some wiring. Um, I'm actually not going to use the pressure switches that are built onto the pumps. I'm going to use a secondary switch with relays to turn those on. Um, that'll allow me to adjust the pressure up and down if I want to, depending on where I want it. Um, so yeah, that's it. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Should work pretty well. I'm excited me too. to have water again. I know. Go to wash my hands like four times today, no like water. Dr. Bonnie Henry tells us to. No, I can't wash my hands. No water. Nope. <laughs> Filthy. Hey, Blaine, what are we doing right now? Saving more stuff in Brentwood Bay. I know, the wind picks up, so Blaine looked out the window and saw this boat floating free, and it was just drifting out into the ferry path. Nice boat! Our friend Drew would say, salvage it! Be a pirate! If it's gone, it's a salvage! But no, the guy's name actually is on the gas tank, which is so smart. Everybody with your tenders. If you have a tender, put your name on it. We don't have our name on our boat, and we really should, just in case it does drift off. Um, so I left a name or a, a message with the person's name who is on the gas tank. So hopefully, he gets back to me right now. We're just gonna go haul this boat and tie it to our boat um, to keep it safe. But this is not an abnormal thing in this bay. Maybe tenders, people, and people. <laughs> We'll document this summer how many people in kayaks we rescue because it is really kind of funny. Blaine is in that back hole again and I have to go pee. Blaine, can I go pee? Yep. Don't look. Don't listen. Don't listen. Okay, hang on. <laughs> okay, good. Okay. <laughs> it out okay i'm all done okay. thank you You're welcome join us next time when our lady tanga comes out of the water in steveston harbor there is so much to do including bottom paint we seriously had a whole ecosystem growing on the hall wait till you see what happens